This time on Film Ranker, we are talking turtles, counting down all six theatrical releases featuring Leo, Mikey, Donnie, and Raph. While none of the films are exactly critical darlings, they are an important part of a lot of childhoods, and there are some legitimate gems in the mix. So let's count them down from the kind of lame to the totally radical. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 On paper, this movie sounds great. The turtles are traveling back in time to feudal Japan to fight samurai. In practice, not so much. The first problem is that the fantastic Jim Henson Company turtle costumes that are used in the first two films have been swapped out here for bargain basement knockoffs. They have a lot of freckles and mouths that move independently of words. Uh, Casey Jones is back, but he doesn't get to do very much, though that is kind of par for the course for this film. What could have been a fantastic trip into the origins of the Foot Clan and maybe even a crossover with the Usagi Ojimbo universe is instead 80-ish minutes of some cool samurai outfits and not much else. That's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2014 Remake Michael Bay doing Turtles could have gone a lot worse. They could have been the aliens he was originally brainstorming, or even worse, he could have decided to direct this movie. Even still, it could have been a lot better. This movie is a bunch of big-budget set pieces that are loosely tied together by close-ups of Megan Fox, who is really the protagonist of the story. The Turtles are mostly there to have things blow up around them. We were worried that this movie would be Turtle Formers, and it was. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2014 Remake. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 The Secret of the Ooze. The second movie of the original series is better than you remember. Uh, the good parts Paige Turco is the best April O'Neil of any of the films. We get a bunch of Raph being Raph, and the story moves fairly well. Plus, we get two sweet minutes of Big Daddy Cool Diesel as Super Shredder. The not-so-good. The studio wanted to tone down the violence in this one, so no one is allowed to use any weapons, which is a little bit tricky for a movie about ninjas. Also, Casey is replaced by Kino. And things are, just in general, a little bit too cartoon. The really bad Vanilla Ice Dance Party. This one is too much teenage, not enough ninja, but a good amount of turtle. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Out of the Shadows. The sequel to the travesty of a 2014 remake probably gets a bit of a boost from low expectations, but it is still way better than it deserved to be. Shredder is more like Shredder, Green Arrow makes a pretty decent Casey Jones, Tyler Perry makes a surprisingly fantastic Baxter Stockman, and Krang looks pretty cool. Uh, Yes, sure, Bebop and Rocksteady are a lot too much, but overall, we get a lot more of the Turtles actually being the Turtles in something that feels like the TMNT universe. That's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Out of the Shadows. TMNT Unfortunately, this 2007 animated feature fell through the cracks because it is pretty rad. Shredder's sorely missed, especially because he's just replaced by a dude who's basically Shredder but without the cool suit. But we get Karai in her first ever film appearance, and we have the voices of Chris Evans, Patrick Stewart, and Sarah Michelle Gellar. There's a much darker tone to this one, which confused some fans of the goofier early films, but for anyone that grew up on the comics and the later cartoons, it is a welcome change. This is a tragically underrated film. TMNT. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 1990 original. This one should have been a disaster. 
a non-CGI 1990s technology live-action Turtles movie with people in rubber suits. This should have gone the way of Howard the Duck, but it didn't. In fact, it wasn't just not bad, it is shockingly good. The real star here is Jim Henson, who somehow managed to create life-size turtle suits that look and act real. Uh, sure, they look a little bit silly in still photographs, but watch them in action, they still hold up today. The voices are all right on the money, the story is better and darker than anyone expected, and Elias Kataeus was born to play Casey Jones. We even have an early role for a future Academy Award winner, Sam Rockwell, who plays Head Thug. Little Kid Me loved this movie, and Grown Up Me still loves this movie. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, 1990 original. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Feel free to like, share, comment, tell a stranger on the bus, whisper into the ear of a sleeping friend, whatever it is you do, and hopefully we're going to see you back again.